Hello and welcome to my presentation on the Russian artist Pavlo Makov. He was born August 28th, 1958. So a little bit about him. He's been active since the 1980s. Um, so he's an artist working in graphics and etching and he also makes large scale sculptures. He focuses on studying landscape and the study of effect of presence in art. Um, and he tries to create or construct utopian scenarios. He also focuses on repetition, identity, and memory. He was born in Leningrad, which is the present day St. Petersburg, Russia. And right now he's currently living and working in Kharkiv, Ukraine. In terms of his education, he attended Crimean Art College for the painting department in uh, Simferopol, Ukraine in 1979. He also attended, um, previous to the St. Petersburg Academy of Arts in 1978, and the Kharkiv Art and Industrial Institute in the graphic department in 1984. So he presented an updated version of his work, The Fountain of Exhaustion, um, which was originally created in 1995, and then also um, presented at the Venice Biennale in April 2022. And this is the main um, artwork that we're going to be focusing on in this presentation. Uh, so the show that in the uh, Venice Biennale was curated by Elisaveta German, Maria Lenko, and Boris Bolonenko. So here is a preparatory sketch of the 1995 installation of his The Fountain of Exhaustion. You'll see it developed quite a bit over the course of almost two decades. So we'll take a look at what he did uh, for the installation in 2022 in just a moment. This is him in 1995 with his first construction um, of the Fountain of Exhaustion. It's much uh, more underwhelming um, than his 2022 version, but still signaling the same message. So according to the art review, he initially thought of this idea during a period when weeks of heavy rainfall flooded a wastewater treatment plant in Kharkiv. And after the water supply became contaminated, officials blocked the city's tap water and Makov wanted to give a visual form to feelings of a city uh, running on empty and its inhabitants being powerless or helpless. So he says, quote, in those first years of independence, there was a lack of vitality in society and a lack of energy, he explains. So here is the main artwork we'll be focusing on. So it's the Fountain of Exhaustion at the Venice Biennale, April 2022. This was his final installation. So the message stays the same, but the way he conveys it physically has been altered, um, perhaps to create a bigger impact or effect on viewers. And obviously this is much more contemporary than his previous work of this um, sculpture. So he represented the Ukrainian pavilion at the Venice Biennale. And this exhibition stands for the global exhaustion of culture, economy, and politics. It is intended to function, to function as paradoxical um, symbol of life, where one river flows into another, and yet both become exhausted and run dry as they merge. So before this exhibition, the original fountain never actually utilized water input, but as you can see here um, at the top of the sculpture, there is a um, tap and water flowing through from the top um, to the bottom. So the next work we'll be focusing on, which also utilizes the concepts of repetition, is his City with Independence Square, and this was in 2021, so just one year before the Venice Biennale. And his work focuses on cities and their sociological structure, and he depicts imagined cities in his work. So this graphic work um, was created using intaglio from etched copper plates and a drawing with graphite colored pencils and is showing a city grid uh, structure. Uh, so it was included in his exhibition or an ex exhibition, uh, which he was one of the artists, a part of called Unfolding Landscapes, presented in 2021 in Ukraine. 
And the aim of this exhibition was to convey the diversity of U Ukrainian landscapes in both a literal and socio-cultural sense. So Makoff was among 42 artists in the exhibit, uh, which took place from July to September. And Makoff's work here shows a city grid structure um, built from the zero in the one binary electronic text or image input. Um, it renders what um, military shooting targets would look like and uh, embodies associations uh, with city such as similar to the Fountain of Exhaustion. So the last work we'll be taking a look at here is called Blanket of Memory, and it was displayed in Pablo Maklov's personal exhibition. And the exhibition was called Blanket, City, Tower, Cross, Destiny. So it encompass encompasses concepts of collection and repetition, as well as his fixation on memories and his fascination with cities and landscapes. So this was presented in 2012 and displayed at the Pinchuk Art Center in Ukraine. So essentially it's a story about identity and beliefs and in the exhibition um, he created embodiments of small figurines, forms, as well as uh, in unique structure, or sorry, in the structure of unique etchings that represent a cross, a garden, towers, and fingerprints. Um, and this in particular is made of money representing a grid, like perhaps a cityscape or other landscape. So we can see a common theme surrounding cities and repetition, um, and especially looking at his previous two works and comparing it with this one and landscapes in his practice. So this concludes my presentation and thank you for listening.